Hi everyone, I'm back. Tonight I'm making a rotini chicken casserole. And I'm gonna start out with, I have, let's see if you guys can see down here. I have a half of an onion right here, and then I have half a stick of butter. So I'm gonna put those in a pan and um, cook that down with a little bit of flour. So that's what I'm gonna do over here. Half of an onion, a half a stick of butter, and a little bit of flour. I have a half a cup of flour over here. So I'm not gonna put the flour in right away. I'm gonna wait a few seconds until the butter is melted and all this is mixed together. So, um, I, I went to Walmart earlier and I just got a rotisserie chicken and that's where I got the chicken from. So I just peeled off the chicken off, of, all the chicken off of that and I put it in the bottom of a pan like this. So that's how you start. I got my water going for the noodles. I have some Velveeta cheese, a pound of Velveeta cheese here that's cut up and I'm gonna put that with some milk and some chicken broth and a little bit of, um, Rotel, a can of Rotel, and that's it for right now. So let me get this onion and butter cooked down, and then I'll come back when I'm putting the flour in it and show you guys the next step. All right, guys, so I have all of this butter melted and just kind of carbonizing the onions a little bit. And I have it on um medium and i'm just gonna put a little bit of flour in here that's a half a cup and i'm just gonna pour it in here and you know kind of make a roux there we go and then i'm gonna add a splash of milk i don't know maybe a quarter cup of this with a cup of water is, is a cup's worth. So I'm going to let this cook down and then I'll, I might put a little bit more broth in but we'll just see. I want it to be the right consistency. We'll add this Velveeta cheese in there and then um, We'll add it with the noodles and we'll pour it over that chicken and bake it with some cheese on top. So that's the plan. I'm just gonna mix this up, get it nice and thick. And then I'm gonna add in my pounder this is a pound of Velveeta right here. I've already got cut and it's just kind of in cubes. I think I'm just gonna turn it down just a tad. How's everybody's day been? Mine started out okay and then quickly went downhill. <sighs> anyway, I'm gonna let this let this cheese melt down. And if I end up adding any more chicken stock or milk, I'll let you all know. Whoops, I made a mess on the side here. So let me let me cook this down until the cheese is all melted and then I'll come back and I'll see you guys in just a minute. Bye bye. Okay, guys, all I did is I added another splash of milk. Maybe, I don't know, 
a tablespoon or something, not much. So this is nice and creamy now. I'm gonna add one can of Rotel. And I added, you know, remember a cup of chicken broth. I have a little bit of onion powder here. I'm gonna add a little bit of onion powder. Not a lot, I did put an onion in there. I'm gonna add some garlic. And then I'm gonna add some of this um, Tony Shasheri's, um, some Tony's. And then you just kind of mix it all together and then you taste it. And if it's the flavor that you like, you know, if you want a little bit more, I think I might add some pepper to this too. I've turned it all the way down now, just to really low because I don't want it to burn. This is just a little bit of pepper I'm adding in there. And then once my noodles are done cooking, I'm fixing to put them in the water over here. We'll add all this over that chicken and bake it. And then I'll put some cheese on top and then we'll bake it in the oven for about 10, I don't know, 20 minutes or so just to, just to get the cheese melted and to warm up that chicken because the chicken isn't warm anymore. So here's the rotini. I just got the Great Value brand rotini and I'm gonna cook these noodles. I have some water here with a little bit of oil. And then I'm just gonna taste this real quick just to see what it tastes like. Just to see what it tastes like. Thank you, honey. Yeah, I think it's pretty good. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more garlic. And a little bit more Tony's. Not on this one. So let's just mix this up. And then I'm just gonna cook my noodles till they're al dente. I don't want them soggy, no soggy noodles. If they're soggy, you've cooked them too long. That's my take on it. Some people I know prefer them like that, and that's fine. You can do whatever you want, but if I was teaching you how to cook, I would not tell you to cook noodles that long. And... What is this? It's, will you please put the lid on it and leave it alone? Ow. Leave it alone, please. Um, I just want to welcome all my new followers. Um, you guys have just way surprised me. Um, I'm so grateful that y'all wanted to watch my cooking and I hope you're learning a little something too, because that's the point, right? I'm just trying to find a spoon over here for my noodles. It's right here kind of below the camera. You guys maybe can't see them. But let me get these noodles to cook and then we're just gonna let this sit. I'm gonna keep stirring it so it doesn't burn. It's on really low. But when the noodles are cooked and I pour, put it all over the chicken, I'll come back and I'll show you guys the rest of it. See you in a minute. Okay guys, I'm back. I'm gonna um, take these noodles And I'm just gonna strain them into here because I'm gonna use just a little bit of the noodle water to add to this mixture before we pour it over the chicken. So this is a pound of noodles and I cooked them until the noodles are still firm but soft. They're not crunchy anymore. I 
I've been watching the World Baseball Classic. I've been watching my son's university baseball games today. But right now, the USA and Venezuela are playing in a single elimination game. So anyway, I've just about got all these noodles in here. When you put, I put a little bit of oil in my noodle water, um, just to keep the noodles from sticking together, and just like a, a tablespoon or something. So there's all the noodles, and then I'm just gonna, I just have a little ladle here. I'm just gonna take a little bit of this water and put it in here. Mix it up and see what it looks like. It has lots of flavor, guys. If you don't like flavor, then don't add so much of that seasoning, but I like flavor. And flavor doesn't equate to spice. Flavor doesn't always have to be spicy. And so just remember that. See how it's just kind of creamy? It's not really runny, but it's just runny enough. So I'm gonna dump it in here over the chicken. And then chicken and then I have um, you can just use whatever cheese you have I have some sharp cheddar that I had in the fridge here so I'm just gonna kind of put this on just gonna put it all over the top I probably had about a cup and a half of here in here so there we go I'm gonna put it in the oven um, at 350 for about 15 to 20 minutes. We just want it bubbly and the cheese um, melted on the top. And when it comes out, I'll show you guys what it looks like. So I'll see you in a minute, bye-bye. Okay guys, it just came out of the oven. Here it is, let me get a little spoon so I can taste it. The edges are nice and bubbly. And you gotta make sure you get all the way down there into the bottom because you wanna get that chicken that's on the bottom. Look at that. Take a little bite, see how it tastes. I know it's gonna be hot. And it cooks for right at 20 minutes and it was bubbling around the edges and all the cheese is melted and so that's what you want. Mm. Good. Hope you guys try it. Let me know what you think. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.